The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The pandemic is over. Joe Biden has said so. I don't know why he's waiting until May to do something about it, but the pandemic is over. It's time for the federal government to get back to the work. It's far past time for the policies of the federal government to reflect this reality and the policies of hardworking Americans and for federal employees to show up and get the job done. In my district, the Bureau of Land Management headquarters was a hot topic of, um, of debate because this administration's, uh, one of their first actions, they wanted to take that from my district and move it back to Washington, D.C. But why so haste? Why so fast to do this? No one's going to work. The building is empty. They didn't have anywhere to bring the employees to a new building here. And in fact, the, building, the employees that they did relocate to Washington, D.C. still only show up to work one day a week. And according to one disturbing report by the Federal Times, just one in three federal workers has returned to their full-time job. Equally disturbing, a leaked memo from January 2021 to then Chief of Staff of the Department of Health and Human Services showed that between 20 and 30 percent of the department's employees did not log into work on any given day between March and December of 2020. This negatively impacts all of our constituents. The VA has been incredibly slow to fulfill records requests that our veterans can get uh, the care that they need, the care that they deserve. The Social Security Administration faces a massive backlog of appeals, and as of last month, the IRS had a backlog of 2.5 million returns from 2022 that are still unprocessed. This Republican-led Congress is moving to end Biden's emergency powers. He won't do it at the executive level. We have created these agencies, we fund these agencies, and now we are demanding that these federal employees get back to work. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of this